Hello student, welcome to my class. So, I hope you all are fine. You are doing well at your home. According to the routine, what the school has given to you, we have to go for this class first evolution syllabus we have completed before the lockdown notes also given now the half yearly syllabus we have to start and uh, four chapters are there in the half yearly syllabus Class 10, History 2 chapter and Geography 2. In this COVID-19 pandemic crisis, we are in a health crisis across the world. The world is in crisis. So, then also, we have to learn, we have to read and reading and learning should be there, should continue. To complete the syllabus and to make you prepare for the half yearly examination and most importantly for the final examination, taking off this virtual class is very important and though now the summer vacation is going and what the school every year generally does that we conduct the school conduct every year the ramadan special class for the 9 and 10 student for class 10 this is the first class and in the first class part history part we will start the chapter third anti-british Rising and peasant revolts in Assam. Now, this Peasants revolt, anti-British rising and the peasant revolts, uh, revolts in Assam. So, British by 30s and the 40s of the 19th century, British East India Company, so established itself a powerful ruler in India. Now, in Assam also, they created a strong base and started ruling the province. While ruling the province, the Assam province. So, the prevailing socio-economic condition what Assam had. So, Britishers, uh, they did not find it suitable to rule and accordingly, according to the, according to their needs and necessity, they, they changed, they changed number of the things and people were uh, very much uh, acquainted with their uh, socio-economic uh, practices or the culture. But when the British changed all this system, so they were infuriated, they were uh, aggravated, so they were angry and as a result, so uh, against the British, so number of the revolt, the peasant they started the revolt. Now, of, uh, importantly, if I say the system of tax, okay, so tax system, earlier people used to pay their taxes in kind. Whatever they used to produce, they used to give to uh, give as tax to the monarch and all this. Now, when the British came, they started the uh, cash to pay their taxes in cash, not in kind. Okay. As a result, what happened? So, Assam during that time was self-dependent. Whatever Assam need. The people of Assam need, they used to cultivate, they used to produce. 
now self sufficient self sufficient assam province so in the province the british when they started ruling so they introduced a money based tax system when this system was introduced when this system was introduced what happened then so a class of people came mahajan and the businessmen who thrived on interest now how they thrived on interest that when people will look for the loan government will not give of course so they will take loan from this group of people they came as immigrant they came as immigrant to assam so whenever any natural calamities is to take place say the flood or any epidemic or the when the crops uh, got fail uh, then the peasants they used to take loan from this group of people they used to take exorbitant rate of interest against the loan from the peasants and and this resulted the suffering and miseries of the people british government on the other hand did not take any measures did not take any measures did not take any measures to improve the agriculture okay to improve the agriculture or the different uh, uh, strategy uh, to or or uh, did not take any measures to remove or to help the poor people or eliminating or removing the miseries of the people agriculture suffered british had not taken any step any measures so all these all these uh, increased the dissatisfaction of the peasants against the british britishers also did that like in the other parts of the country like the other parts of the country in assam too the indigenous industry started ruining started destroying automatically because, because british had not given any importance and british had not encouraged the local uh, indigenous goods okay not uh, encourage this indigenous goods and uh, number of british according to uh, because of number of british policies so this uh, indigenous goods suffered a lot in local market as well as international market so indian indigenous or the local made goods had a international reputation like in other parts of the country so in assam too so uh, this uh, part muga okay muga silk of assam okay which had a reputation so now this started ruining so this also uh, created dissatisfaction another one was that the elite class aristocratic class this group of people is twile means the ahom monarch okay ahom monarch and the this other officers or the noble this group of people they also used to live a very comfortable life because of british their life became very miserable miserable in the sense that in the year 1843 if we see british british stop slavery system in assam as a result those elite class in their land number of these laborers slave they used to work in their land so when the system was stopped so automatically what happened this elite class this elite group of people they were not getting the labor now why the british uh, british stop this uh, slave system okay or the bonded laborer bonded laborer 
Okay. Why British have stopped that? At that time, at that time, one more thing it was uh, getting importance. It was tea garden. Now tea garden it is labor oriented. It is labor oriented. So they need labor, and this group also need labor because they were not habituated of doing work in the field. So with the help of this slave or the bonded laborers, they used to uh, do their daily activities or they used to lead a very comfortable life. So a tea garden needs labor. British needs labor. So they stopped this system and as a result it's a light class. So they became very dissatisfied uh, in the decision of this British, British government. Now, one more point here, it is also very important that according to eminent historian, eminent historian that the H.K. Barpujari, several Brahmin Puruhit, Brahmin Puruhit of the upper Asham also joined the revolt of 1857 if we see. Why? Because, because this group of people also against the rule of the government because government took away the excess of the Lakharaj and the Antex land which they had been occupying and enjoying since ages. Now, a revolt of 1857 and its impact in Assam, if we see, then concerning to its success, very little, but it, it uh, aware the people regarding their rights and uh, a sense of, a sense of this uh, regional feeling or the patriotism also got increased among the people against the British. So molded their opinion against the British if I say. So revolt of 1857. Revolt of 1857 in Indian context. It was a very epoch making event that shook the very foundation of British imperialism in India started from the regiment started by sepoys that is why it is also known as the sepoy mutiny number of historian they says that it was the first war of independence and some other opposed that not no 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 it was not the first war of independence now that we will not discuss now Revolt of 1857 and its impact on Assam. When we discuss this topic, then remarkably, this the cause is what we have discussed. Okay. In the pan India level, pan India level, Bahadur Shah Jafar too, he was leading the revolt of 1857. When whole India was in the clutches of this revolt, okay, revolt in Assam, uh, two regiments, two regiments were posted, okay, one at uh, Dibrugod and one at Guwahati, okay. So, uh, first light infantry in Dibrugod and second light infantry in uh, Guwahati. So, they had not sh showed their means uh, uh, this. Uh, Sepoys of these two regiments are indifferent, okay. And the news of this uh, Dibrigod and the Guwahati regiment and the barrack of Sepoys and the Saikwas, okay. So dissatisfaction spread, the dissatisfaction spread in these uh, regiments. Now, in discussion of this, the 
revolt's impact on Assam, the role of Moniram Diwan was immense. Now, the earlier I said this class, allied class, they wanted to reinstate the Oham monarch. Okay. So, uh, Khandapashar Singh, okay, uh, they wanted to reinstate him. Now, this class, those uh, who were enjoying the privileges under the Oham monarchical system, under the British, their privileges were taken away by the government. As a result, they were deceived. Everybody means uh, a different group of people in the province had a, a different dissatisfaction. Different dissatisfaction. And that is why uh, all these broad people under one umbrella and started their revolt. Now, this group won their earlier, all the, their earlier privileges and uh, wanted to lead a very comfortable and luxurious life. Peasants, uh, they don't want to pay the exorbitant rate of interest to the money lenders or the Mahajan. Okay. So, uh, people used to take, the peasants used to take all this loan to pay the taxes to the government. Paying taxes even during the crisis time, disaster or any epidemic or any natural calamities, it was uh, made mandatory. So, uh, people had no option rather than paying the taxes. So, now, this group, this allied group, they also want, they also wanted to reinstate the Oham king and this Moniram Diwan, okay, the role of Moniram Diwan in the revolt of 1857. Now, Moniram Diwan also wanted to that reinstate the Khandapeshwar Singh. Moniram Divan, he is this uh, page number 44. Okay, Moniram Divan personality and his life story. In the box, it is written, you read it once. Moniram Divan, he led the movement in Assam in the revolt of 1857. Moniram Diwan, he met number of people there in Calcutta. He met the Madhu Malik, okay, Najir, Dutiram Burwa, Pioli Burwa, Formodali, Bahadur, Gaugura. And they had a conspiracy, means uh, they had a plot, okay, they made a plot, okay, uh, how to oust the British from the province. Now, the problem arises that when they, are, they made the plot to oust the British, everybody want the peasants, allied class, this, uh, the British monarch, under the British monarch officers, nobles, all this want to oust the British. So, when the Moniram, he made the plan, plan along with that uh, this uh, Formud Ali, okay, uh, Pioli Burwa, okay, and the uh, Dutiram, okay, Najir, okay. So, when he made that plan, he was there along with them in Calcutta. Now, regarding this conspiracy, regarding this conspiracy, conspiracy British government got its scent its smell its smell so accordingly accordingly they started taking the step to suppress this initiative what the moniram divan had taken now in the first part of the september 1857 the principal assistant captain Goliath incepted intercepted number of letter written by Moniram Devan. Because of that, they got the story of full plot. Immediately, so Moniram Devan and his comrades 
wanted Khandepeshwar Singh as king of Assam. By ousting British from Assam, they would uh, reinstate Khandepeshwar Singh. All these things that are mentioned in the letter, when British intercepted the letter, then, then and there Khandepeshwar was immediately arrested and subsequently Maniram Devan too also arrested in Calcutta and unfortunately this all the rebels or the uh, freedom fighter the freedom fighter were tried and unfortunately Maniram Devan and Pioli Borua were sentenced to hang to death on being found guilty against hatching of conspiracy against the government now it was all about the revolt of Moniram the one now why Moniram the one failed regarding his failure if we see that uh, failure of this revolt of 1857 causes of its failure then number one directly you can grab all these causes okay causes of the failure of revolt of 1857 page number 45 it is directly there in the book okay number one it is that rebels were very few in Assam Rebels were very few in Assam and Moniram Diwan Saputar were confined only in Jorhat and Sipsagor. Hardly he gained support in Nwagao, Kamrup and the Guwahati. Supports also matters a lot. And it is not at that time, it is at present also. So, rebels were very few. Okay, that is why it is one of the cause for its failure. Second, the leader of the rebellion failed to understand the importance of time. Okay, that is why British got enough time, enough time to know about their conspiracy and as a result, so British suppressed, the, suppressed their initiative movement very easily. Third, Chief organizer of the revolt, Moniram Devan, he was very far away from the scene. He was very far away from the scene, means from Assam. He was there in the Calcutta. And to contact with the other rebels, okay, and the other people, so through the letters, it was a very impractical. So that is why it took a lot of time and practically he was not in the field and he was commanding through letter from there, Calcutta. So because of this impractical step so it was a cause of its failure and the fourth cause is that Moniram and his associate never tried to involve all section of the people and Assamese middle class people okay it was because of that uh, modern education only means uh, what you got in class 9 that the uh, western education okay western education now this uh, when this introducing of the uh, British government introduced this uh, western education and the system of this education so a uh, class was created okay middle class earlier only higher which include the king, ministers and all these, okay, and other uh, elite class and the poor, lawyer class, poor class, okay. This middle class was not there. When the middle class came into being in the society, so during that time or at the time of Maniram Devan call, 
this middle class this middle class people neither showed any sympathy and nor supported the movement so it is also one of the cause of failure fifth the rebel of assam failed to maintain the secrecy of their activities as a result british came to know about the conspiracy and their activities and as a result what happened so british crushed the movement very easily next very important this one one way guns another way sticks this also uh, seems quite impractical uh, how because uh, the rebels okay moniram the one and uh, his associates they had no access to modern arms and ammunition and on the other side britishers okay they had their arms and ammunition and as a result okay so as the rebels they required so as a result uh, uh, when they tried to bring the arms and ammunition and all this from kolkata so they were uh, arrested okay uh, before uh, before moniram devan could do so so rebels moniram devan and his associates had no access to arms and ammunition and when he tried so he was arrested before he could do so so uh, with uh, means uh, uh, having no access to arms and ammunition also one of the cause of its failure now uh, this is all about the causes okay causes of the uh, failure of revolt of 1857 in assam now importance okay so importance of the revolt page number 46 directly given you grab it okay and whatever there you if question comes write the importance of the revolt of 1857 in assam so you have to write directly from the book you will get the full marks now uh, uh number one that the peasant revolt that began in the 1816 okay 1816 in assam or the reaction of the revolt of 1857 now i said earlier also that the moniram divan okay uh, moniram divan and his associates and the people okay uh, uh, people reactionary okay reactionary activities against the british also also form a platform for the subsequent movement okay subsequent present uprising okay so present uprising of the 1861 okay it was the reaction okay reaction of the people what they showed in the revolt of 1857 in assam and the second is that the hindu and the muslim uh, communities all people united together okay uh, united to take part in the revolt and thus and thus it fueled it fueled the growth it infused okay it infused a sense of belongingness na and nationalism among the people and last okay during the international movement okay and the freedom fighter of assam inspired by the activities of the moniram divan and his associate and of course Uh, till today people are uh, uh, getting inspiration from uh, 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 this freedom fighter like moniram devan pioli borua nazir and <coughs> many more so this is all about the importance of the revolt of 1857 in assam and now moving towards the next topic it is the rise of the peasant revolt in assam now peasant revolt uh, rise of the peasant revolt in assam so the background if we see okay peasant revolt i said 1861 okay right after the uh, this uh, revolt of 1857 okay revolt of 1857 uh, in assam it's form a very uh, very a strong base if i say that uh, the subsequent peasant uprising what took place in uh, in the province okay province had a connection okay had a connection uh, of this revolt of 1857 now assam nobody want misery sorrows in their life okay even we too okay nobody wants now assam why peasants they started revolt against the government now assam the policy the government policy mainly the government policies really government policies 
government policies here the colonial government policies okay colonial government policies are the main reason for the anti british uprising in the province now say the government increases okay taxes land tax and different new taxes if i say you say the income tax license the license tax grazing tax okay and uh, stamp duties of 1858 okay now after the revolt of 1857 earlier uh, if you see that the charter act 1853 Charter Act 1853 East India Company was ruling India in the name of British Crown 1857 revolt of this Sepoy mutiny took place when the mutiny was crushed well after that government of India act was passed and and the India directly went to the hands of British Crown now the british crown from 1858 british crown will rule india now when this declaration was made okay under this government of india act 2 august 1858 the act was passed after that revolt of 1857 two players one to indian okay all the freedom fighter those who participated okay all are now inspiration for us now those who participated and against the government government used their government coffer okay their government money when government spend lots of money in any war after that what government does they increase the taxes they increase the taxes new taxes they introduce okay like here the stamp duties okay income tax license tax grazing tax okay guard tax number of taxes they started introducing and started collecting from the people and the peasants so as a result this also made uh, uh dissatisfied the people okay this also uh, increases the dissatisfaction among the uh, people and uh another another is also there that uh, uh during the time of this epidemic or any natural uh, calamities government had uh, uh, not showed any sympathy or uh, uh, not help the indian people or mainly at the time of famine so that also one of the cause of their dissatisfaction now that when people started their means the peasant started their movement okay uprising uprising so one important role of this we have to see rise men it is people's assembly okay now it is people's assembly people collectively sit at a particular place and under the direction of gaubuda gohai doloi so this rise mail is to work now whenever any decision whenever any decision of the government goes against the will interest of the peasants and the people the people used to meet at a particular place this people as a assembly under the direction of gaubuda doloi and the gohai to take a uh, to take a decision okay regarding the government policies rajmal had a very this uh, immense contribution in uh, uh, towards the anti british uprising now how rajmal played a important role in the anti british uprising that we will discuss the first anti british uprising the peasants anti british uprising is fulaguri dawa
Fulaguri Dhaba of 1861. Now, <coughs> Fulaguri Dhaba, the banner of revolt for the first time in Assam raised by the peasant after this revolt of 1857 it was this Fulagori Daba. Now all the peasants anti-British uprising had a connection okay had a connection with that economy. If you kick someone economically, of course he will also retaliate. And when the retaliation will take place, then there will be problem. So Fulagori, it is located in the Nuagao, inhabited by Tiwa ethnic community. This group of people they used to cultivate poppy. Okay. So When government stopped cultivation of this poppy, people are agitated, people are angry. Very interesting thing is that government to one stop this poppy cultivation. Okay, it is that poppy is intoxicant, okay, uh, opium. One way government stop cultivation of the poppy and it's selling and another way government, the British government is selling this poppy. Second point, tax on Tamil Pan. Erika Nath and the Battle Leaf, when this is this uh, Erika Nath and the Battle Leaf. This is the pride of Assam. We too means uh, the people of Borak Valley also take this Erika Nath and the Battle Leaf. Okay. So what we call Pan. When the tax was introduced on Pan. Okay. So directly means if you hurt the people's cultural sentiment then it will fuel. Okay. It will fuel uh, 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 something very uh, something very that uh, uh, will bring the people together okay the bringing people together it is the culture custom okay and now when government fix tax on this Erika not and the battle leaf. So people are very much angry and dissatisfied on the government decision. So as soon as the news of banning of this poppy cultivation spread and fixing of this tax on Erika not and the battle leaf, people decided to sit for this Rajmel. Now 1500 peasants they sat for this rice mill on 17 September 1861 as when they sat for this as soon as the government got the information regarding that and deputy commissioner of Nuaga was the Harvard scones so instead of this showing any sympathy towards the people okay public when the people approach okay to this deputy commissioner office by writing a memorandum after after attending the rise mail by all the peasants okay they come in conclusion that uh, we would submit one memorandum to the government that government should rethink and uh, should remove this uh, uh, should repeal this order okay order that uh, against the cultivation and uh, selling and using of this uh, consumption of this poppy and uh, tax okay uh, remove of uh, removing of tax from this 
ಐರಿಕಾ ನಾಟ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಬೆಟಲ್ ಲೀಫ್ ಸೊ ಹು ಎನ್ ದ ಗೇಬ್ ಮೆಮೋರೆಂಡಮ್ ಸೊ ಹು ಎನ್ ದ ಹಾರ್ಬರ್ಟ್ ಸ್ಕಾನ್ ಓಕೆ ಹು ಎನ್ ದ ಮೇಡ್ ದ ಹಾರ್ಬರ್ಟ್ ಸ್ಕಾನ್ಸ್ ದ ಡೆಪ್ಯೂಟಿ ಕಮಿಷನರ್ ಆಫ್ ನಾಗಾವ್ ಸೊ ಹಿ ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಶೋಟ್ ಎನಿ ಸಿಂಪತಿ ಇನ್ ಸ ಡಿಸ್ಪೈಟ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಹಿ ಮಿಸ್ಬಿಹೇವ್ಡ್ ವಿತ್ ದ್ಯಾನ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಆನ್ ಆನ್ ಫಿಫ್ಟೀನ್ ಅಕ್ಟೋಬರ್ ಓಕೆ ಆನ್ ಫಿಫ್ಟೀನ್ ಅಕ್ಟೋಬರ್ ಸೊ ಅಗೇನ್ ಲಾರ್ಜ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟೆಡ್ ಹೋಲ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ದ ರೈಜ್ ಮೇಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ಡೇಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಟು ಡಿಸ್ಪರ್ಸ್ ದ ಕ್ರೌಡ್ ಓಕೆ ಟು ಡಿಸ್ಪರ್ಸ್ ದ ಕ್ರೌಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಟು ನೋ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದಿಯರ್ ಒಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಇನ್ ಏಮ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ರೈಜ್ ಮೇಲ್ ಓಕೆ ಡೆಪ್ಯೂಟಿ ಕಮಿಷನರ್ ಸೆಂಟ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಲೆಫ್ಟಿನೆಂಟ್ ಸಿಂಗರ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಲೆಫ್ಟಿನೆಂಟ್ ಸಿಂಗರ್ ವಾಸ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಅಸಿಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಕಮಿಷನರ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಹು ಎನ್ ಸಿಂಗರ್ ವೆಂಟ್ ಆ್ಯನ್ ಹಿ ವಿಸಿಟೆಡ್ ದ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಆ್ಯನ್ ಹಿ ಫೌಂಡ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಒಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಆ್ಯನ್ ಆಲ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸೊ ಹಿ ಸೇಟ್ ದ್ಯಾಮ್ ಟು ಡಿಸ್ಪರ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಟು ಗೆಟ್ ಎವೇ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಪ್ಲೇಸಸ್ ನ ಸೊ ಒನ್ ಜ್ಯೋತಿ ಕೊಲಿತಾ ಓಕೆ ಒನ್ ಜ್ಯೋತಿ ಕೊಲಿತಾ ಹಿ ವಾಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೇನಿಂಗ್ ದ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಗ್ರೀಫ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ಸೋರೋಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ರಿಗಾರ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ದ ಬೇನಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ಪೋಪಿ ಕಲ್ಟಿವೇಷನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ಟೆಕ್ಸ್ ಆನ್ ಅರಿಕನ್ ಆರ್ಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ಬೆಟರ್ ಲೀಫ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ಸೊ ಆಲ್ ದ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ದೇ ವೈ ಆರ್ ವಿತ್ ಸ್ಟಿಕ್ ಓಕೆ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ಲೋಕಲ್ ಲೋಕಲ್ ವೆಪನ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಲೋಕಲ್ ವೆಪನ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ನ ವೆನ್ ಹಿ ವಾಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೇನಿಂಗ್ ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ಇನ್ ದಟ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಸಿಂಗರ್ after listening all this so he became very excited and ordered people to leave okay now then what happened so one man one man he struck now tussle started between this the force of singer singer and uh, the peasants so uh, in this situation one man struck on the head of singer and then and there he uh, fall on the ground and as a result so a large number of people came and started beating him and as a result singer uh, died on the spot and after that his body was thrown in the kolong river now it was a very that uh, incident okay uh, the incident has been mentioned in the pages of assam history but after that uh, people star this uh, government okay government inquired in the number of people okay number of people uh, were uh, arrested and this uh, uh, rebels okay rebels like uh, name okay lakhon deka songbor lalung and the rongbor deka were awarded death death sentence and rest were sent to the andaman and nikobar island and the kaliyapani no this is all about this the fulagudi daba okay now the importance what is the importance of this incident okay importance we have to discuss now how it became very important for the people of other areas okay first one is importance is voluntary participation voluntary participation of this lalung thiwa ethnic community and the koiborto and the fishing community this community also got support of educated middle class people now it is very evident in the society that uh, the poor people and mainly the illiterate when they are to shows their grievances okay grievances plight sorrows to the government so uh, often and generally they take the help of the educated people so in this fulagudi dava also in this movement so they kill the assistant commissioner okay so lieutenant singer so this educated people contribution was immense in raising their boys and next important is that 
Fulagori Daba was the example of common people. Their dissatisfaction against the government wanted to free themselves from the clutches of the government. Everybody wants that. If someone started exploiting me, if someone imposed his uh, this uh, uh, exploitatory rule, okay, exploitative rule on me, of course, I shall uh, try my best to uh, get free myself from his clutches. So the pre people at that time also doing the same what they felt right so it was uh, it was a movement okay so to get their rights okay it was not that right uh, means to live okay to live it was to lead a dignified life to have the economic resource and for foods at that time people used to sell their own sons and daughter you see how the inhuman british government was so inhuman okay government was in, inhuman of course okay it was not that british government was only the inhuman and at present in the world no uh, means uh, not a single government is inhuman in the world it was not it is not that at all of course there are government what things and find feeds suitable does that but Class 9, when we had a thorough discussion of this imperialism and colonialism. These two terms, colonialism to make colony of another country and to exploit that particular country economically. Imperialism, same country ruling politically and had a connection with whom country now british was ruling india and they they had a connection okay they had a all time relation with their whom country their mother country great britain now mughal people came to india from central asia but but they never they made they made india they made india as their whom okay not like the british so that's a very different okay we are going in a very different direction so okay uh, let's come to the point again so uh, the peasants they uh, it was an attempt okay it was an attempt to free themselves from the clutches of the uh, british imperialism now third one is that the fulagodi dawa okay this revolt was an inspiration for the peasants of other parts of the state other parts of assam so it was an inspiration of course and the people got uh, uh, inspiration and and uh, in the other parts of the assam when the people started uh, the peasants started the peasants uh, their uprising so they started in a very organized manner okay this all about the importance of the fulagodi daba and the moving towards the next topic it is the uh, peasant revolt of lawyer assam Lawyer Assam. Peasant revolt in Lawyer Assam. Now, first in Lawyer Assam, the first revolt is Rongya. Okay, peasant revolt of Rongya. So, on 24 December 1893, people started looting the shops in Rongya Bazar, vandalizing the Rongya Bazar started. They started also looting the paper, okay, Modgrej paper. Whenever they used to modgrace their land to Mahajan or the uh, businessmen, all these modgrace, this modgrace land, okay, land document, they started vandalizing, looting, and burning. When all this started, okay, the peasant felt that uh, peasants of this area, the Rongya area. They felt that the presence of Marwari and the businessmen, presence of this 
group of people led to their miseries okay how because uh, whenever they have to pay the taxes okay to the government so they take this loan from this group of people only they had the money okay okay this marwari and the businessmen now they started looting and attacking all these people shops and uh, this uh, mortgage paper on 8th january okay the government police arrested 15 peasants from a rice mill which which was uh, which had been called to discuss how this uh, this will be their problem and miseries now on 10 january 3000 peasants from the different moja gathered in the rongya police station now this uh, rongya peasants revolt of rongya this name you remember okay he was the deputy commissioner okay mckebe okay large number of people when they assembled in front of this uh, rongya police station okay rongya police station they told about their miseries and all this to the government mckebe told them to leave but they refused to budge they refused to uh, comply his uh, order now after that what happened they began the peasant started demanding the release of their associates those 15 arrested by the police when mckebe ordered them to leave they did not comply his order and after that forcefully they started entering the police station make kebe after that the game what he played okay the game what he played it was very interesting so he picked he picked up some of this the peasants uh, leader and gave them constable job very interestingly to tell tax it was 90000 okay people the peasants were demanding that it was the demand demand that the increase okay the increased rate of uh, tax that they will not pay government was telling you have to pay you must pay the taxes it was the grievances okay now government want this money in one aspect and second is that and wanted to suppress wanted to make them happy also now what it is what the government did okay some of the leaders are picked up and given the job so after getting the job they were very much happy and and those leaders act as agent of the government among the peasants so it was really a uh, very interesting okay so how government okay uh, government suppressed this uh, very technically okay very technically suppressed this uh, uprising okay uprising in the rongya and after that okay so this uh, recruited leader okay recruit those who are recruited as the constable under the british government so uh, they uh, they uh, them uh, appeal to the people to pay the taxes and all this and and they act as agent and as a result uh, later okay uh, people paid 60000 to the government yes their first installment so it was all about okay it was all about the uh, peasant surprising in rongya now uh, moving towards this uh, next topic okay uh, peasants revolt of uh, lachima that will uh, continue in our next class so 
आई होप ओके यू ऑल आर डूइंग वेल एंड वील कंटिन्यू द डिस्कशन प्रेजेंट रिपोर्ट ऑफ द लाचिमा एंड दिस इज द फर्स्ट क्लास ऑफ दिस क्लास टेन एंड आई एम हैविंग थ्री क्लास ओके दिस इज द फर्स्ट क्लास एंड आई आई विल बी टेकिंग टू मोर क्लासेस एंड इन नेक्स्ट क्लास आई शैल कंप्लीट दिस चैप्टर एंड विल स्टार्ट द फोर्थ चैप्टर ऑफ हिस्ट्री फोर्थ चैप्टर ओके I am telling this is first chapter that whatever you have discussed, you read it. Okay, you read it again and again repeatedly, and and in the next class we will complete this chapter and we will start in another new chapter. Okay, history chapter fourth, and and uh, stay at home, stay safe, and wash your hand all time, read well, and this is all about the. days discussion if any problem is there after uh, listening this uh, video if any problem is there or if any doubt arises in your mind then you write in the comment section okay you write in the channel comments comment section and uh, i shall try my best to uh, reply and then also if any problem is there you can contact uh, uh, me indirectly through the school of fish okay and uh, of course i know that uh, there will be not ma not much problem because uh, number of this topic okay uh, you have already learned in class 9 also so this is all about the days discussion and we will meet in the next virtual class that's all thanks to all